Oh dear. Well, this is disappointing. And frustrating. You are not what I had in mind. No. Not even a little bit. What are you doing out here? Besides destroying my hard work. Stop it. Stop thrashing. You're just gonna get more tangled. Yes, you will. You'll get more and more stuck the more you move. That's how it works. Oh, lovely, trust me. Take a breath and stop. You may accidentally strangle yourself or something. We wouldn't want that. Probably. I don't know. I don't know you at all. But I know how long I worked on that web. And you're tearing it up. So stop it. <laughs> What do you think I am? What do I look like? Just because you haven't seen anything like me before doesn't mean I don't exist. Clearly I do, so you learned something today. Got it in one. Although, I prefer Spider Queen, thank you very much. Spider Person is so... Boring. My kingdom may be small, but I still like to think of myself as the ruler. It's good for the self-esteem, you know? Queen. Empress. Goddess. Pick your poison. <laughs> Get it? Poison. Are you afraid? Of me? Well, that's... Actually, that's understandable. Maybe you should be. I have fangs, which are nature's way of saying I bite. And you took away my dinner tonight. Yes, you did. Because that web was meant to catch my dinner. And it caught you instead. So, should I just eat you? Don't worry, I'm teasing. I don't like humans. At least not for eating. You all taste like disappointment and chicken. It's fine, I'll live. And so will you. You look terrified. I can smell it on you, too. Shock and fear and everything else human. I promise I won't hurt you. Don't you know anything about spiders? There's certainly plenty of bad press out there. But in reality, we're mostly decent. We're clever, but not malicious. Scary, but not generally too aggressive. Strong, but standoffish. Many people like having us around. We eat the real pests, you see. Oh yes, we're spider bros. And honestly, I don't harbor any ill will towards you or any other two-legged mammals. I don't sit around thinking of ways to hurt humans who get too close. I don't generally think about humans at all. Not worth the effort. There you go. That's it, catch your breath. Stop sweating so much, it's not pleasant. Give me a second and I'll get you untangled. Of course, I'll be nice. Doesn't do me any harm to let you go. Just hang on. <laughs> hang on, I'm really funny today. You caught me on a good day. 
Uh, what a waste of a great web. I was really proud of this one. Deer, usually. More often raccoons. Sometimes a mountain lion. Things that come to the mouth of the cave following the trail of fresh water. Spiders know how best to maximize our resources. No sense spinning a web if it's not going to catch something, you know? It's exhausting. That is none of your business. Although I'm a little impressed you asked. That took some guts. Now stop talking and let me work. Relax. Be quiet. Let me just... Hmm. Okay then, and this under there... What exactly are you doing out here anyway? Go ahead. I know I said stop talking, but you can answer. Well, aren't you the intrepid explorer? And did you find what you expected? I would have guessed not, but you never know. You wouldn't have been the first to search out the Spider Queen. Oh, yes. Once in a while, someone comes out here looking for me. Or rather, looking for something different. I think there are rumors of strange and enchanted creatures in these woods. Every so often, someone wants to see if the rumors are true. Have you not heard the stories? Maybe the legends are finally fading. It's been a long time since anyone stumbled this way, so... Perhaps my existence is a myth. That would not surprise me, frankly. I haven't exactly gone out of my way to stay visible. Quite the opposite. We old ones have no reason to draw attention to ourselves. And I'm perfectly content on my own. Always have been, truth be told. Oh, let's see. A few centuries, perhaps? Maybe a bit more? Time does fly after all. Loneliness is a human condition. Well, I suppose all animals that build societies and travel in packs might relate. But not spiders. We're not like that. I love my solitude. It suits me. Here, hold still while I clip this. Hmm? Oh. I had a mate once. More than once, actually. Charming, sweet, quite lovely. It was always nice while it lasted. I ate them. What else? Oh, you are so human. It's a little bit adorable. Maybe I should keep you around. You know, like a pet. I've never really had one. And you seem... interesting enough. I just said I don't eat humans. Not appetizing. You'd be perfectly safe. You sure? I think it's a nice offer. I would keep you very well fed. And I'm not as cold as I look, I promise. Well, my blood is, but I can weave a mean blanket. Suit yourself. You can always change your mind. All you'd have to do is worship your spider queen, and you'd be the most spoiled pet in the world. Wanting for nothing. Except other humans, but... Like I said, that sort of thing is overrated. You should really consider my offer. Hmm, whatever, your loss. But, we do have one other problem. 
Well, once I set you free, what's to stop you from coming back here with the proverbial pitchforks and villagers to wipe me out? Humans fear what they don't understand, and you still look quite afraid. A bit more curious now, but still afraid. I don't want to have to look over my shoulder constantly. I have things to do, you know? You could do that, but I'm not sure what your word is worth. I don't know you. I have an idea. Maybe I could make you less afraid. Maybe if you got to know me a bit, you'd be less likely to lead a group of angry bigots in my direction. That makes sense, right? I hope you've realized by now that most of my questions are rhetorical. I don't care even a little bit what you think, but I'm a stellar conversationalist. I have a lot of time to practice my witticisms out here. So let's see. I've got you nearly free, but I think I'll leave this bit of silk wrapped around you here and here. That way you can walk, but you can't, you know, use your arms or get away. Because I'm going to take you for a little walk. Not like a pet, though, I swear. Well, not really. Anyway, I'm going to show you some of my world. And then you'll be less afraid. And then you won't be so inclined to come burn everything down. I feel like I should make something clear, though. Well, here's the thing. If you did come back with an angry mob, I'd be long gone. You would never see me again. And you certainly wouldn't catch me unawares. I have ways. The forest talks to me in ways it would never talk to you. You are loud and disrespectful. I would be gone, but that would mean I'd need to find a new place to live, which I could do, but it sounds like a lot of work. I don't want to have to do that, so I'm going to try this instead. Make sense? Again, I don't care what you think. Let's go. Come this way. Don't make me tug the silk. That would be demeaning for both of us. Come on, follow me. My space is down here, in these caves. Of course. How does the saying go? Will you walk into my parlor? Ah, but you're not a fly. Pity that. I am still hungry. <sighs> Come on, watch your footing. You can't catch yourself if you fall. And despite all these limbs, I won't be catching you either. Although I might just laugh at your misfortune. That's it. Take it slow. That works. What's your name? What is it you do when you're not getting caught in webs? Do you like it? Hmm, I'm not sure I believe you, but that's okay. Do you have a mate of your own? Humans don't eat their mates, correct? Not in any circumstances? So strange. I suppose I'm not meant to understand it. Here, turn down this way. All right, we are just about, yeah, here we are. This is my humble abode. What do you think? Sometime you will learn that I don't care what your answer is. I like it, it's my space. Look, I have a bed. I wove it myself. And I have a dining area. Mostly empty at the moment. Oh, those are my subjects. I did tell you I'm the queen. 
Well, they tell me how wonderful I am, and they fetch me things I need. But they really can't do much more than that. They don't have my size, or my power. Which is a good thing in my book. I won't let them hurt you. They'll obey me. You humans and your fear of spiders. I guess it's instinctive, bred into you through thousands of years of evolution. But it's still so puzzling to me. Fear scorpions and wasps and venomous snakes. Fear the mosquitoes that transmit diseases. Fear the parasites that burrow under the skin or make homes in your intestines. Don't fear us, we're the least of your worries. I'm beginning to wonder whether bringing you down here was the best idea after all. My social skills are rusty, and you don't look any more comfortable than before. <sighs> okay, look, I will let you go. You will get yourself home and forget any of this ever happened. And as a further insurance policy, I will make a teeny tiny threat. No, a promise. If you do decide to try to come after me with the intent to hurt me or my subjects, not only will I be long gone, but I will find you later. Oh yes, I have your scent, you see. I can find you nearly anywhere you go. So if you try to hunt me, I will get away. And then some night, when you think you're safe, and you're in your bed, and nearly asleep, you will open your eyes, and up on the ceiling, You'll see me descending slowly. And if you try to get away, you'll find you can't. Because I've bound you to your bed. And then we will see just how disappointing you taste. How's that? I am not your enemy, my dear. Don't make one of me. This is my kingdom, not yours. Now, go. Go home and forget you were ever here. Oh, what is that? I... You're welcome, I think. What did I just say about coming back? Oh, you mean just you. I don't recommend it unless you bring me dinner. I'm a practical queen, one that has to eat. Show up with a meal and perhaps we can talk more. Or you could always reconsider the pet idea. <laughs> Go, follow the path. Take yourself home. Oh, I'm better than fine, sweetness. I have a realm to run.